Hi guys, welcome to the Fight Ash channel. Authoritative British coach Peter Fury is convinced that the former WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight world champion Anthony Joshua could not take risks in a fight against Alexander Usyk and Rush at the Ukrainian, forgetting about the defense. Alexander Krasyuk, the promoter of the WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight title holder Alexander Usyk, said that the trilogy of Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder in terms of boxing skills was significantly inferior to his worst fight with Anthony Joshua. The coach of the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury, Sugar Hill Stewart, spoke about the potential duel of the world with Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk. The manager did not make specific statements about these two boxers but expressed the confidence that Fury is capable of defeating any opponent in the heavyweight division. In a recent interview, WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury said that after winning the fight with Dante Wilder, he has nothing more to prove and he can end his career. Former champion in two weight categories Ricky Hutton believes that this is a very real development of events. According to Ricky, the only fight that interests Tyson is against Anthony Joshua. And if it doesn't take place, it is quite possible that Fury will retire. The head of the mushroom boxing promotion company Eddie Hearn believes that WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury should fight Dillian White. Because this is a big fight that will cause a huge stir in Britain. According to Hearn, if Tyson can defeat Dillian, then he will fight for the title of absolute world champion in his weight category against the winner of the rematch between Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua. In a recent interview, British WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury said that he considers himself the greatest fighter in history and doubts whether he needs to continue his career. The famous promoter Eddie Hearn doesn't agree with the statement of champion and believes that in order for Tyson to become the greatest fighter of all time, he must defeat at least compatriots Dillian White and Anthony Joshua. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I am trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. Authoritative British coach Peter Fury is convinced that the former WBA, WBO, IBF heavyweight world champion Anthony Joshua could not take risks in a fight against Alexander Usyk and Rush at the Ukrainian, forgetting about the defense. Usyk impressed me very much. Everyone is talking about what Joshua didn't do, that he shouldn't have used his dimensions more actively. Look, Andrews put Joshua down. Can Anthony go for a fighter like Usyk? He is a lefty who can hit, especially if you yourself go under his blows. Joshua couldn't run forward that way. If he had, he might not have heard the final gong. In the end, such an extremely skilled guy who accurately strikes should be treated very respectfully. Usyk is a very, very good fighter, a worthy world champion. And Joshua needs to do a lot of things in the rematch, said Peter Fury. Alexander Krasyuk, the promoter of the WBA, WBO and IBF heavyweight title holder Alexander Usyk, said that the trilogy of Tyson Fury and Dante Wilder in terms of boxing skills was significantly inferior to his worst fight with Anthony Joshua. From the point of view of the person who watched the fight, I really got hyped, because you don't often see such a machete in modern boxing. But from the point of view of boxing, because I was watching not Mahesh, but boxing, a fly fly, they didn't really look like boxers. They seemed to be big guys who came to mash each other thoroughly to lay down. It doesn't matter if it was on the basis of something personal, hazard it for each other. The question is that we saw a spectacular, 
but not a boxing match. Even in terms of leg movement, they walk without bending their knees of their heels. I think the canvas of the ring was erased after this fight. Joshua and Usyk's fight is a masterpiece. This is what art looks like. And here we saw pop music designed for the American audience. Blood, everyone falls, rises. But there was no classics, no art in it. There was a major match, Alexander Krasiuk said. The coach of the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury, Sugar Hill Stewart, spoke about the potential duels of the world with Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk. The mentor didn't make specific statement about these two boxers, but expressed the confidence that Fury is capable of defeating any opponent in the heavyweight division. It seems to me that Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight in the world. That's enough. I don't want to put others in second, third, fourth place and so on. Tyson is the best heavyweight in the world. I am not even looking at how it will look against them. I need to see how they will look against him. When the time comes, he will deal with it. I believe that Tyson Fury will beat everyone in this weight class. It's easier to say that than to talk about Anthony Joshua or Alexander Rusik. It's about everyone, said Sugar Hill Stewart. In a recent interview, WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury said that after winning the fight with Dante Wilder, he has nothing more to prove and he can end his career. Former champion in two weight categories Ricky Hutton believes that this is a very real development of events. According to Ricky, the only fight that interests Tyson is against Anthony Joshua. And if it doesn't take place, it is quite possible that Fury will retire. If Tyson wants to rest after the war with Wilder, no one can blame him. Maybe we won't see him until Joshua and Usyk have a rematch. If Anthony can win, then we will see the fight that everyone wanted so much. I think Tyson has only one fight he is aiming for. And that's a fight against Joshua in the United Kingdom. If this fight doesn't happen, then I don't think he needs to prove anything more than his career, so he can resign. As far as I know, Tyson, he will want to beat Joshua. But it wouldn't surprise me if he decides to end his career and we don't see Fury in the ring anymore. I believe that if he makes such a decision, he can be proud of himself. Hutton shared his opinion. Eddie Hearn believes that the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Tyson Fury shouldn't have a fight with Dillian White. Because this is a big fight that will cause a huge stir in Britain. I believe that the confrontation between Tyson Fury and Dillian White is a massive event that will provide one and half million paid broadcast sales in the United Kingdom. It is a fully sold out large stadium in the United Kingdom. This is a large scale fight. Besides, Dillian is a mandatory contender for his title. Tyson needs to take care of his mandatory protection, which will bring him a fortune. I don't even see the point in making a force to promote this fight, because after Joshua and Usyk, this is the biggest event in the heavyweight division. If you are so confident in yourself, just get your mandatory challenger out of the way and compete for the undisputed championship. I think Fury is ready for this. He's a fighter and will accept the challenge from Dillian White, Hearn said. Fury has only beaten one guy in the last three years. Perhaps he will defeat everyone and become the greatest heavyweight of all time. But for this, you need to meet the best fighters of his era. You can't fight one guy all the time and call yourself the best. He has to share the ring with Joshua. He has to fight with Dillian White. Maybe in due time he will have to fight with Grovich and Joyce. Because the guys are moving up the career ladder. Tyson needs to stay active. He always said that activity is important, he even said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.